So I just finished The First Muslim by Leslie Hazelton. I started it in Ramadan, which was back in April, and I was excitedly reading it. So this book is about the Prophet Muhammad. It's simple, it's got an engaging style, it's not overly complicated. So there's many books written about the Prophet Muhammad. Martin Ling's is one of the favourites in our house and the one that we read like time and time again. So this one I've had mixed reviews and so I wanted to check it out for myself. It's not very long, it's only like a couple of hundred pages. I don't think she uses like excessive names so it's quite easy to get your head around especially if you've not read about the prophet before. Hazelton starts by explaining that a lot of the Muslim theologians work on the prophet are not seeing the prophet as a real man they write about him in his role as the prophet of islam almost like an ideal man so she starts off from the beginning saying that she is reading between the lines basically of the sources and trying to paint this picture of the prophet as a real man and and beyond face value she's trying to interpret how he may have felt when things were happening in his life in arabian society back then which didn't value orphans and if you didn't have a father especially, you were basically of no value. And despite that, the Prophet, even before he received the Prophethood, did quite well for himself. He established himself as a trustworthy merchant. He married Hazrat Khadija. She was a widower and a businesswoman and they were comfortably well off. So after being quite engaged, I stopped the book halfway, started it again recently and what worries me is if somebody's not familiar with the life of the prophet and they read this for the first time they're not getting a good overall picture of, of the prophet and some of the stories I would put question marks on them and she does say herself that some other historians and theologians dispute some of the events that she's written about. Um, it was easy to read but I don't know how accurate it is as a historical document, so I'll sort of sit on the fence for this one. So if anyone's ready, I'd be interested to hear what you also thought about it.